Hello, this is an exercise for Chapter 3, Section 5. In a random survey conducted by a marketing agency, 241 of 1,000 adults aged 19 years or older confessed to bringing their cell phone with them on every trip to the bathroom. Is the variable of interest categorical or quantitative? So we have to figure out what this variable of interest would be, and that would be kind of what is the answer to the question that you asked if you were doing the survey? So what would this, the question be? The question probably would be something like, do you take your bathroom, I mean, sorry, do you take your cell phone to the bathroom on every trip or do you not, right? And the answer to that question would be, yes, I do, or no, I don't. And so this variable of interest is this yes or no question. And so it would be a categorical variable since it is a category of yes or no not a number so let's check our criteria our requirements so sample is random or there's a randomized experiment so here we have a random survey so we have a random sample the next criteria that we have to meet is that my sample size is less than or equal to 0.05 of my population size. My sample size is a thousand people. So a thousand people who I asked, and that has to be less than 5% of the population size. So you go through and divide by 0 0.05, and you get that n is greater than or equal to 20,000 people. So now you gotta think about what is my population in this situation? And is that population greater than 20,000 people or not? So the population, so here's my sample, is my 1,000 adults 19 years of age or older. So my population would be all adults 19 years of age or older, of which there are more than 20,000 of those. So they are being satisfied. Next criteria is that n p hat is greater than or equal to 10, and n times one minus p hat is greater than or equal to 10. So we have to find out what p hat is. So p hat is my sample of a proportion. In my survey, I asked 1,000 people, and 241 of them said that they took their phone to the bathroom. So x is the number of successes, and being a success, is having the criteria that you're measuring. So there are 241 of those people who brought their phone to the bathroom. Out of, how many people did I ask? Out of a thousand. Okay. So my p hat in this situation is 0.241. So this criteria is a thousand times 0.241, and that has to be greater than or equal to 10. This equals 241 and that is greater than or equal to 10. So that criteria is being met. Similarly, we have our n is still 1,000 times one minus p hat, which is 0 0.241. And that has to be greater than or equal to 10. So this actually equals 759, which is greater than or equal to 10. So that criteria is satisfied. When these requirements are satisfied, then we can go through and do our confidence interval for a proportion. So let's go to GeoGebra and find and construct a 90% confidence interval. Okay. So we go to GeoGebra, we go to our probability calculator, we go to statistics, and we come down here and a confidence interval is an estimate. So we're going to do the Z estimate of a proportion. So our confidence interval was 90. So we had a 90% confidence interval, so it's a 0.90. Our number of successes were how many people brought their phone to the bathroom. Our N is how many people did we ask? So we asked 1,000 people. And then we have our result down here of our lower limit, upper limit, and then another way to write our interval. So I'm going to write these three um, lines on the other sheet. So I have my lower limit, which was 
0.2188. So my upper limit was 0.2632. Or it could be 0.241 plus or minus 0 0.0222. Both of these, if it's not um, stated as how you should write it, both of those are ways that you can write this confidence interval. Okay. So both of those could be correct. And again, you might want to go through and think about how they're asking you to round on the problem, etc. I'm just giving you the answer to four decimal spots here. Okay. Now we have to go through and interpret this. So on the original exercises, there was not blanks to fill in, but just above this, there was some blanks that we could fill in. So we have our confidence interval, which is a 90% confidence. So we have 90% confidence at the interval between, these are gonna be where you have your lower and upper bounds. So we're gonna have 0.2188 and 0.2632 captures the true proportion, because that's what we wanna look at, the true population proportion, the true population proportion of people aged 19 years or more um, who confess to bringing phone to the bathroom every time. Okay. And that is your confidence interval.